welcome Rebel Gamers to the long awaited Russia versus USA versus and since a few months ago I've been talking about doing this uh, versus this very long versus by the way it's gonna take a bunch of parts to finish this versus because again this is the United States the strongest military and as you can see 4.34 million total army staff compared to mine 1.98 but that's because most of my uh, military isn't deployed and I have most of them back in the motherland and uh, as you can see I've got most of my units here in Canada I had to sign a treaty and I also sign an alliance just because why not uh, they probably have bad relations with the US but I know that they're allied as well with the US so they won't attack they won't attack them and I don't want them attacking me as well so that's why I signed treaties and an alliance with Canada but I have a total of about 1185 land units and as for naval ships ready to attack the uh, west coast total 518 naval ships I think that's enough and I've got uh, more naval ships actually I forgot about that up in Alaska just to take the oil derricks near uh, Anchorage and probably also uh, yeah make landfall invasion in Anchorage Alaska as well take that town as well why not they got a fort or a, a barracks there so I'm going to take that and uh, again this is going to be a long versus and I've been talking about it for a long time and I did promise that I was supposed to uh, do this versus at the end of the month around August and it is the end of the month already I think it's what's today 30th or 31st I think it's the 31st now uh, let's see yeah August 31st the last day of August we're already entering some guys can you believe it 2018 is already around the corner this year has flown by even faster than 2016 and then what I could remember 2015 and even 14 these years are going by so fast my young my younger years that is so weird I don't know guys I don't know everyone is you know has a different age you know I don't know about how old you guys are but most of my viewers you know range between what 10 10 to 30 years old again again I'm 21 years old but it feels like every year is going by even faster we're already about to uh, reach 2018 and this decade the 2010 decade is about to be uh, it's about to end as well 2018 2019 and then out of nowhere 2020 can you believe it <laughs> I don't know guys it's pretty weird uh, I'm really getting old for some reason it's going so fast I usually never talk about that you know how fast the years go, uh, go by but holy crap already September tomorrow and by the way I'll be uploading this versus tomorrow actually on Friday since I uploaded Sunrider Academy part 5 from a, a previous stream so this uh, pre-recorded part will be uploaded tomorrow I'm doing it today on Thursday but you guys will be watching it on Friday so that is what I'm gonna do again this is a pre-recorded part so I'll be uploading it for Friday so you guys can watch it on Friday so that I could uh, have more time streaming tomorrow actually which is Friday but you guys are already watching this video Friday and you guys have already watched my stream on Friday so that's pretty weird you know hey video reception again YouTube reception right there for you but anyways uh, my goal here again is to take all of the United States of America my country my nation uh, and as you can see the US has an axe Mexico and a few other Central American nations, El Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala, and Nicaragua. They might attack Costa Rica and Panama later, probably. They also took over uh, Cuba with uh, some Dominican help as well, by the way. So, uh, yes, the U.S. has annexed and is an aggressor here in North America. So it is up to uh, the Russian Federation to uh, <laughs> liberate those countries. And by doing so, I mean eliminating all of the U.S. And again, this is going to be a long as while just to eliminate the United States. As you can see, the U.S. has units all over the place. Not as much as the home front, let's play. But again, they've got plenty all over. But one positive note, they're broke. After all those wars, those battles, uh, the U.S. is broke compared to me. I am not broke. I'm actually kind of rich. But the United States is down in treasury. Their GDP is going down from 40,000 
uh, everything is going down for the United States right now. But again, their military is at 100%. So am I. So this is going to be a uh, fair and square, humongous battle probably. And uh, I'll be invading through the state of Washington, through the city of Seattle, taking some parts of the uh, Pacific Northwest. And then from there, a stepping stone, building land fabrications, factories, aircraft fabrications, etc., etc., in the state of Washington, and then sending some units all the way to the East Coast so that I could actually invade through uh, states like Michigan, New York, Maine, etc., etc., and heading down for uh, the capital city of Washington, D.C. Maybe I could take my hometown as well in Dell City. Who knows? <laughs> I'll be under Russian control. But it is finally here, guys. Everyone has been waiting for this versus. This is going to be a long one, as I said a hundred times before. This is going to take a while, and I'm still going to do other short verses that you guys have requested. I know that a lot of people request verses still, and let's plays. This is going to take a lot of time, but I will still get to your verses and let's play, guys, so no worries. And I will not be streaming this uh, verses as well, by the way, since it was requested. I made a vote for it, and most of the votes went for YouTube, so yeah, only YouTube no twitch so without further ado bellingham first village i'll uh, enact from the u.s again more than 1100 units here this is it guys ready for the uh invasion of the united states have i ever invaded the united states <clears throat> i've attacked the united states before actually in a few versions with uh somalia uh mexico i think even canada probably as well Heck, even at, uh, yeah, that's right, the home front let's play as North Korea. I tried invading the U.S., but again, with no uh, prevail, I couldn't even get far. I got into Texas, but again, I didn't get far into the United States because the military was huge, and I really couldn't do anything. So let's see what I could do with Russia. And I've got some Canadian units in there, but again, I have an alliance, so i got to be careful here. US has units in Canada as well. So I gotta watch out for the supplies as well. I mean, I'm getting supplies from Canada since again I have an alliance with them. But I gotta take Seattle to increase my supplies. So I'll be taking most of the state of Washington first and whatnot. And heading down into Oregon, Idaho, and then from there on building bases and factories and then sending some units to the eastern seaboard. So that is the whole plan for the invasion of the U.S. Alright, so, so far the U.S. is shooting missiles at me. I forgot that I have these naval units, so I'm going to send these units, or most of these naval units, actually. Actually, I don't want to send all of them. Let's do that. 203 naval units into the, uh, the Everett Fabrication Base. As for Anchorage, I'm going to send these units to take these oil derricks from uh, Alaska. And I've got my transportation ships in there, ready. And so far, Fraps is actually kind of lagging right now. Again, this is just a normal, or actually it's a mod. A normal mod, but it says ACW, which is Accelerated World. The world is a little more faster, a little more accelerated. That's about it. And uh, as you can see, the world is on steroids and really is accelerating at a rapid uh, race right now race not even race it was a rapid uh, rate there we go why I say race no no well the world is racing to build the largest militaries right now but still rate and uh, as you can see France Germany Italy Switzerland Hungary Austria all these European nations and around the world is making my whole PC lag right now not lag but just slow down right now dropping in frames for fraps same thing with korea china japan the usual and even myself so hopefully my uh the game doesn't crash actually not my pc but the game doesn't crash this is what happens when the whole world builds units when that happens the game simply crashes and cannot handle it all those units even though i already have a new graphics card as well i just upgraded my friend that gave me the uh his 950 GTI and video. So, 
to check the stats here real quick. Oh, I actually really don't know right now. Same for the U.S. I don't know right now as well since the U.S. is at war or was at war. And so was I. I was actually at war with, I think, South Korea. That's right, South Korea. I made peace with them. I didn't want to continue attacking them right now, as you can see. Uh, can I sign a non-aggression pack? Yes, I can. Let's just do that with South Korea real quick. I'll give you $1.7 billion. Japan. Same thing with Japan, just in case. I already have a non-aggression pack with Japan. And yes, I did switch my avatar, by the way. If you guys didn't know, of course, the anime. Uh, <laughs> I switched my avatar from Donald Trump. Donald Trump is long gone, over with, and Trump rising. So, I had to switch it. And the name. No more Mr. Donald Trump in Supreme Court 2020. But yeah, this is how the game will run, guys, from now on. Since again, the whole world is on steroids, is accelerated. I shouldn't have chosen uh, accelerate. I, I just wanted to see what that meant. I really never tried the accelerated mod ever, but now that I'm playing it, this is no no bueno. Fiji wants an alliance. I don't need an alliance from Fiji. But I'm trying to take at least the city of Seattle by the end of this part and the Everett base and I do have alliances around the world as well mostly ex-soviet states middle eastern african countries etc etc south american nations as well but again canada I just feel like making alliance with canada just so they don't attack Even our relations are actually kind of average and neutral uh, just to be sure you know just to be on the safe side I still didn't want Canada to interfere, even though their military is pretty weak. But as you can see, the U.S. is sending units inside Canada, so it looks like there's going to be a proxy war in Canada, from the looks of it. What's this? What is this? Oh, this is the... That destroyer there. Alright, so it looks like we took the old derricks. Nice. I'm going to add uh, one garrison. Actually, nah, I don't need to. I'm just going to go ahead and attack Fort Richardson right now and take that fabrication and the city of Anchorage and as you can see I've already demolished destroyed all of the uh, US naval fleet here near Seattle and if you're from Seattle well I apologize <laughs> you're seeing a lot of uh, you know war going on right now you're around Seattle I love Seattle. I, don't really want, I really want to visit Seattle as well. Great city. Great atmosphere. Great sports city nonetheless. Speaking of which, I can really use some McDonald's right now. I'm actually hungry. Oak Harbor. Yeah, I really wish I could tell how many units how many kills I'm getting against the United States and these unit losses and kills from South Korea really messed things up here a bit what the wait a minute what happened wait where my uh, transportation ships go oh no oh they're there okay thank goodness be careful guys be careful don't want to lose you yet really want to take Anchorage here oh they're attacking my transportation ships that's not good game is very slow right now compared to other uh, let's plays and verses that I do I'm running out of uh, fuel here as well and again I build a bunch of Vodnix future rapid effective systems challenger tanks I shouldn't have built Vodnix I don't know what I was thinking Vodnix are useless I know they're fan favorites but again I do not like Vodnix at all I don't know why I built Vodnix in the first place they were just cheap and quick but cheap really doesn't matter when you're basically rich in the game, like right now. So, Vodniks are a mistake. I'm gonna send more units over there down to uh, Seattle to assist. I'm gonna cut these units off right here. There's a barracks right there I can actually take Yakima. I think they have a base there in real life as well, if I recall. I've seen videos from uh, Yakima base. I think that's where uh, transportation ship shoot. Guys, what are you doing? Help them out. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna unload right now. Screw it. 
Let's see if I can try to unload. Oh, but that's right, these ships are blocking the way for my transportation ships to unload, I think. Maybe they can unload. We'll see, I'll try it out. Oh, we unloaded! Nice. Alrighty then, never mind. And we took Fort Richardson and we're gonna add seven fully loaded garrisons to Fort Richardson. Want to take Anchorage. I'm gonna just add five there. They barely have any units in Alaska. We got a few more up in Fairbanks, but that's about it. Again, Alaska main priority as well. Need to take those uh, oil reserves there in Alaska. That's for Hawaii. What am I doing with Hawaii? I don't think I'm doing nothing with Hawaii. Eh, I'm leaving Hawaii alone. What about Seattle? That's my main target. Oh, we took Seattle already. Nice. Good job. Good job, good job. And it looks like we scared off and destroyed, as I said before, all of their units. We can refuel and resupply our ships, actually, in Canada. I don't know why they're going. They're trying to go all the way to uh, to Russia there again. We don't need to do that, guys. Wow. I was like destroying my units here. Look at these Wadniks. Well, not. We're just out of supplies here. That's the problem. All right, let's go assist. These guys need repairs. All right, got a couple more units over here. Let's bring him down to uh, Yakima there. Fall back, guys. Wait for reinforcements. All right, you know what? They're bringing recons here. Be careful not to get closed. That's the main problem. Look at all those tanks that are coming in. All of them 183 Abrams are sending from all over the U.S. mainland. <laughs> Jeez. This is definitely a long fight. But I did succeed in my first part on taking Seattle, Anchorage. That was my main goal for the first part. The debut of Russia versus the USA. It's finally begun. It's finally begun. But I wish, you know, the FPS was a little more faster. Luxembourg, no thanks. Keeping all my stuff, you know. I've got no air support, by the way. Couldn't bring any air units here. Jeez. Maybe I should use all those naval units that I have over there. Huh. Let's try to attack the port of Bremerton over there. Let's do that. Alright. Actually, let's just add four garrisons in Anchorage. And take one off there. There we go. Well, we got a uh, Anchorage at least. These units will be pushing over here. Actually, do that. Then do that. There we go. You guys, there. Here, did we get Yakima? It looks like we did Yak uh, get Yakima. We needed that barracks there. Careful, guys. Careful. Actually, you know what? Actually, they have a tank over there. Let's grab 248 units and send them to Bremerton. I want to take Bremerton because they've got most of their tanks over there. I don't know why. But I want to try to see if I can actually take him out. Canada, can you assist? Nah. An alliance with both uh, the US and Russia. So, of course, we can. Maybe if I sign a mutual defense. I mean, I shouldn't be. Actually, I can't do that, actually. That's right. This is a versus between the two strongest nations on Earth. So I will not uh, get Canada into my side. With a mutual defense, maybe I can. But they stop in line, so maybe they can. Come on, ships. Squeeze your asses in there. I know you can. Can they? I don't think they can, actually. Yes, they can. What the hell are you guys doing? Come on now. Go straight down and help your brothers out. Your brothers and sisters. Where is Yakima? Did I even take all oh, Okay, I did. Yes, those naval ships are really helping out right now. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for Navy. Pushing down. Wow, they're bringing a lot of units now over here as well. 
near the Idaho border, and the timer is done. That was quick. Shut up already, will ya? Let's go for another few minutes there. I'm enjoying this so far, that's why. <laughs> Rwanda. Next. Agree. Lower the electric power price or yes, sales there. 9%, that'll do. Lock that up. Ooh. Looks like we got them surrounded. Nice. We got those units in Bremerton surrounded over there. We'll also push down as well into uh, Fort Lewis. That's another fabrication base. I did not know about that one there. Whoa! Jackpot! Got a bunch of units there. Looks like we destroyed them. And a bunch of artillery units. Double the amount of kills for the Russian army. And looks like we're going to take Bremerton. Just a few more units. So far, so good, guys. We are doing well right now against the United States. Richland. Can I wait? Ouch. That is true. Yeah, stupid Vodniks. That was a mistake. That was... That might cost me a bit there. Those Vodniks. I might lose a bunch of units. But... I think I'm... I've only lost roughly... By my guess... Between 50 to 100 units. Actually, maybe even 50. Just 50 units, probably. While the U.S. has lost hundreds. Countless right now. So I think this is a perfect place to end part one of this huge, long versus between Russia and the United States. Again, I've got a long stretch goal to go. Got to build factories, bases, and send some of my units to the eastern seaboard to uh, head down to Washington, D.C. and eliminate the U.S. from there. And I do have... A stepping stone in Alaska, which I will just try to take some oil reserves as well. Let's see what I can do from there. <sighs> Dang. <laughs> this is going to be a long one. Holy crap. But anyways, guys, again, uh, this video will be uploaded tomorrow for uh, Friday. Even though I'm doing it today for Thursday, I've already uploaded a video, actually. So I don't like uploading two videos at the same day. So... It's going to be a pre-recorded part. You guys will be watching it tomorrow. Plus a stream on Twitch for The Great War and Modern Warfare probably. And as always, Edible Gamers. Oh, and by the way, uh, since it's a new month tomorrow, September, another patron contest is coming. I'll be giving away... I haven't decided what game. Maybe Gary's Mod. Yeah, maybe Gary's Mod probably. Or even an anime game on Patreon. Again, I'll be giving away a game every month on Patreon to my patron supporters again there's a link below if you want to support me it means a lot now then as always subscribe like and i'll see you guys well whenever <laughs> later guys